Mr. Graham, homework help. Time for homework help. Wah, wah. Tonight, guys, we only have two pages. You should be on page 156 and 157. Let's get started. You'll see on 156 a little problem. Ursula picked carrots and radishes from her garden. She picked four and one fourth pounds of carrots and one and three fourth pounds of radishes. How many more pounds of carrots did she pick than radishes? How many more? Hmm. How many more? That's a subtraction problem, isn't it? And since it is a subtraction problem, we're going to have to go ahead and get ready to do some subtraction. Four and one-fourths minus one and three-fourths. Now, it's very hard to subtract this fraction and get a right answer. Why? Well, let me show you. A kid might go, oh, four minus one is three, and one minus three is two. Ah, 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 ah. You can't do one minus three is two. Yeah, I can. One minus three is... One fourth minus three fourths is two. No, 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 no. Three fourths minus one fourth is two. That's if the three was in the front, but the three's not in the front. The one's in the front. That's a smaller number. You can't subtract a bigger number from a smaller number. Whoops! You can't do that. But what? So what can you do? I'm gonna show you. Write four and one-fourths as a fraction greater than one. That's confusing. I don't like the way they've uh, phrased it. So I'm going to phrase it Mr. Graham style. Okay? Look at the denominator. Look at the numerator. Multiply them by each other. Go ahead. Multiply them by each other. What do you get? What's four times four? 4 times 4 is 16. And then 6. So go ahead. 4 times 4 is 16. And then there's a little 1 right there. You're going to add that 16 that we just made. We just made that 16. We're going to add that to the 1. And what's 16 plus 1? 17. Well, that. Isn't, doesn't look like a 17, that looks like an 11. 17. A 4 goes down there because a 4 is in the denominator. Don't worry about that. So, what we just did is we multiplied the denominator by the whole number and we got 16. Hopefully, you know 4 times 4 is 16. And then we added that 16 to the leftover fraction. That's that one-fourth. 16 plus 1 is 17. So we transformed 4 and one-fourth into 17 fourths. And that is going to help us. That's going to help us subtract, okay? And we need it. All right? We need it. So that's, that's one thing that we need. But if we transformed this guy we should probably transform this guy and you transform it in the same way. Watch carefully. Subtraction's a little bit harder than addition with fractions. But it's the same step I told you a second ago. You just multiply like kind of up and diagonal. What's four times one? Four times one is four. And then you've got to add it to the leftover. Four plus three. So what do you get? What do you get? What do you get? You get seven fourths here at the end. Four times four gave us that four right there, and then we added it just like they added it right here to the leftover. Four plus three is seven. So go ahead and put seven fourths. We transformed one and three fourths into seven fourths. That was good. That was good. Now we can subtract the fractions more easily. Seventeen fourths minus seven fourths. What does that equal? Seventeen fourths minus seven fourths. That's easy. Seventeen minus seven. That equals ten Remember, the denominator doesn't do anything. Ten fourths. Now, that is correct. But 
it'd be better if we played around with him to make him into a kind of normal fraction, normal mixed number. Okay, so we're going to take 10 fourths and we're going to draw it. When you draw a fraction, the first thing you always must do is look at the denominator and say, how many pieces do I need? That's how many pieces you need, just four. How many do we shade in? Ten. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, I guess I need another fraction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang it, I'm trying to get to ten. I guess I need another fraction. Another model of a fraction, I should say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What do we have? How many more pounds of carrots did Ursula pick? Well, that's one whole that's one hole and then this leftover down here is two fourths so even though ten fourths is technically it's correct the best answer is one plus one is two and then the two fourths at the end two and two fourths two and two fourths is the same thing as ten fourths it's just that this is an improper fraction, and this is a mixed number. We're almost done with the homework tonight. Just stay with me. And we're going to use words to explain all the stuff we did. Um, explain how you can use fractions greater than 1 to subtract mixed numbers. Okay. First, you need to transform the fractions the mixed numbers into fractions greater than one and if you're not sure what that was this right here was what we did when we did that multiplication right there and then we added to the leftover and we transformed four and one-fourth we transformed it into seventeen-fourths and then we transformed transformed one and three fourths into seven fourths. So that transforming that we did, that's that's step one. Then uh, you need to subtract. That's what we did right there, and that was actually very easy, wasn't it? Seventeen minus seven is ten. Finally you have to change your improper fraction into a mixed number. And the way we did that is we took our improper fraction, our 10 out of 4. It, we call it improper because the 10 is bigger than the 4 and we don't like that. We took our improper fraction and we drew it. That's all. We just drew. No big deal. We, draw, we, we drew some pictures. We, we saw that the denominator meant that we needed four pieces. And we started shading in for the numerator. Only problem was the numerator was so big that we had to draw another four pieces. And then another four pieces. And then we shaded in all that we needed to shade in for ten. And we realized that we made one hole, another hole, with two fourths left over. So we changed our improper fraction into a mixed number. Hooray for us. Now the real challenge begins. Can we do this one more time? Or two more times with number 14 and number 15. Let's give it a shot. Monica rode her bike 5 and 7 tenths miles on Monday. She rode 2 and 2 tenths miles on Tuesday. How much farther did Monica ride on Monday than on Tuesday? Let me give you a little hint, okay? Remember all the, all the hard work we did with transforming over here? You 
only have to do that. This will help you. This will save you some time. You only have to transform when the first number is bigger than the second number in the fractions. Okay? So, I mean, sorry, smaller. When the first number is smaller than the second number. One is smaller than three in the fractions. And that's weird. So we had to start doing some transforming to help us. If we look at number 14, 7 is not smaller than 2. And that's not weird. We love that. Hooray for us. So all we have to do is simple subtraction. Check it out. What is 5 minus 2? 5 minus 2 is 3. And what is 7 tenths? minus 2 tenths. What's 7 minus 2? That's going to give you 5 tenths. And guess what? Done! Whoa, Mr. Cram! Number 14 was way easier than, than this stuff over here. That's because that 7 tenths was bigger than that 2 tenths. It won't always be that way. Let's look at number 15. Look at problem 14. Um, okay, look at problem 14. All right, we're looking at it. Monica wants to ride 10 and 5 tenths miles today. How many more miles does she need to ride? Oh, this is like a weird subtraction problem. So we're dealing with Monica. Monica, that's Monica's stuff right there. And she wants to ride 10 and 5 tenths. She wants to ride that. And then it's a how many more problem. How many more? So that means subtraction. Subtraction from what? Uh, well, they say look at problem 14. So that means subtract from her, her number over there. So 5 and 7 tenths. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. The first number is not bigger than the second number in the fraction. We got to do some transforming. Uh, ooh. This is going to be a long video. You know what? I'm going to make one more video just for this problem so that we don't have to rush. Okay? So we only have one more problem left. You're going to click on one more video with me, and we're going to finish this last problem in part two for tonight. I'll see you guys there.